Okay, um, one of the most interesting servers we've got on is the Slim server. Now this powers a device called a squeeze box, or a new one, um, one is the transporter, that's a more high-end version. Um, we've got a web-based admin, but the important thing is just to see what happens if we've got a squeeze box on the, ne on the network. So um, I've got Soft Squeeze, which is a Java app that simulates it. Now one of the most interesting things a squeeze box can do is actually have... Um, internet radio streamed. Now Alien BBC is an interesting plugin because it actually transcodes the uh, real media stream into MP3 in real time. Now a lot of NASA struggle to do that because it's quite uh, processor intensive. So let's have a look Radio 4, click play and within a few seconds we should hear some people speaking. Okay good. So that works. This is Oxford Street in the heart of London's West End. I'll lower it down, but I'll keep it running just so we can see how much of the processor this actually uses. Okay, so as I say, most NASA struggle to even do this feature. Um, whereas if we go back to running processes that we had before, order them by CPU, and you'll see there 26%. So about a quarter of the processors used in order to do that. That's the default processor, which is an AMD Athlon 3200. Um, with a dual core processor obviously you'd get more um, processing power um, and let's have a look, that is still running, if you hire it up again we can hear it okay we could also at the same time run the iTunes server okay. so you can do both iTunes and um, slim server at the same time and still how much are we stressing the CPU very very little um, slim server if you look has gone down to 10% so it's obviously uh, cached quite a bit of the uh, media stream um, I think that's quite impressive